Mafia the Black Light, Rap Kind TV, we are here. Bobby D presents Uncle Snoop's Army. And we're here with none other. You already know who it is, but I'm going to introduce him anyway. Lil Easy E. Most definitely, most definitely. It's all love. I appreciate it. I hey appreciate man, it. Lil E, we appreciate you just stopping because, of course, we ain't got to keep expounding on it. But for the young people, they must know how important it is that watch my show. This man is the son of a legend, and he's a legend in the making himself. Appreciate the son that. of Easy E. Eric Wright. R.I.P. to Easy and appreciate his influence that. over all of us. Now. Yeah. In the rap game right now, there's a lot going on. What do you think is the next wave? Is it, for instance, Kanye? Is he on to something? Is it, is it religious rap now coming, or is it something he's just using as a stepping stone? Well, well, that, that's that's a, a touchy subject when you say religious about. rap. You know what I mean? Because you got it got to be a, a fine tune to what you do when you're speaking to Christ and doing a thing. I'm not gonna get into all that with everybody because each and all. With your own religion, what's your own beliefs there? You know what I'm saying? But it's a fine line when you're dealing with, you know what I mean, the Lord and our Savior and rap. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? It just, it, if it's real, it's real. If, it, if, if it's meant to be and it's, and it's thoroughly from the heart, it's going to succeed. Now, Easy, what do you think about the young rappers now today? Because you've been around a long time. You've seen real OG rap. Do you think what we have now is going to continue the game forward and transition into all what we hear now? Oh, auto tune out no, and everything no, or is the old school gonna still come back yeah the old, old school is always gonna be in here because you know what i'm saying a lot of these kids even if, for instance when i myself you know what i mean uh being somewhat still of a a, a young artist yeah. out here uh you know what i mean my lane is still from the og background you know what i'm saying of course with the plot that i'm cut from so a lot of these kids that come to shows that we do you 18 20 25 you know 30 they still have that you know what i mean that real old school in them so mm -hmm. i don't feel it's going to wipe it all out and go with this new school stuff. So, nah, OG stuff is still going to stay in it. You know what I mean? It, it, it takes a lot to be around 25 years from the day you start rapping. Oh, my goodness. It definitely does. Right. You know what I mean? And that's what you call a legend. That you is what, what you saying? call a legend. Yeah. Now, last thing, I ain't going to hold you up. Can you give us, tell us something that stands out of your memory about your father, about NWA, about you being around that as a youngster? Anything? Uh, the voice for the street. You know what I mean? That was our, our political voice for the street. And the fondest memory of my father is being a great father. You know what I mean? That's what I miss about him, being a great father. You know what I mean? That's all he was to us. That's the best thing he could to us. You know what I mean? And that's what we miss as his kids. Amen to that, man. Appreciate that, brother. Hey, Lil Easy in the building, Mafia the Black Knight. All the time. Rap Kind. Bobby D presents an Uncle Snoop's Bro. Army. This is Lil Easy the Prince of Compton, and you listen to Rap Kind, so keep it kind like mine. You know what I'm saying? You can find me at LilEasyE.com, you know what I mean? Or on Twitter at uh, LilEasyE.com as well. Oh. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see my big bro, man. Oh, yeah. It's his birthday, right? Yeah. Happy birthday, bro. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, bro. A real, a real, a real good influencement to me, man. He's always stayed loyal to me. You know what I'm saying? Kept it going, and a real true friend of mine. You know what I'm saying? My big homie, corrupt. You already know what it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Y'all see how we do it? Rap kind TV in the building. We are gonna stay with it right now. Keep on rolling with it. <laughs> hey, you know that? I was sitting there talking to my daughter, running Olympic, uh, Olympic, uh, Olympic. Can I get my rough dog on something real quick? Hey, happy birthday once again. Happy anniversary to you and Daz and the dog pound, man. Well, thank you very much. Can we ask you, because a lot of young people listen to our show, what does it take to stay in the game 25 years? You just got to be uh, real to yourself first. Because if you ain't real to yourself, you can never be real to anything else. And that's the first thing to it. And, uh... Just keep pushing. Never stop. Never stop. Never stop is really the key. How's Moon Rocks doing? Oh, man, I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, he he doing it, it is what it is. <laughs> All right. And we love you, Corrupt. Thanks. Congratulations, brother. Keep it locked. Oh, CMW in the house, baby. Come on, man. I was listening to you when I was 19 years old, baby. Hey. CM, hey, CMW once again in the house. We got MCA. Introduce yourself, brother. Man, I'm the infamous man. I'm the low key. I'm the chill. Comps most wanted. Formerly Dirty OGs, but it's still CMW. You already know. You know what I'm saying? When did y'all start CMW? What made you guys think of it and say, you know what our group's going to be called? It's going to be called Comps most wanted. What sparked that in your brain? 
Me and eight sitting back drinking, smoking. You know what I mean? It was 1987. You know that's my brother from another mother. And we was watching America's Most Wanted and was mm. like Compass Most Wanted. And ran with it. Wow. And that has stuck until this day and it will continue to stick. And it actually inspired other artists to be proud to be from Compton, man. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely proud of my city. You know what I mean? It's a city of poverty, struggle. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I lived through it and I'm still here 49 years later. And we thankful that y'all still here, man, because y'all are a legacy in the game that people like me get our our, our our juices from. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We was watching and looking at you when we were still running around snotty nose. You understand? Hey, man. Come on, man. That's a blessing. And I'm still running around here and got a little Getting snotty it. nose kids now. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, to transition, because you have such a grasp on hip hop and you've been in it for a while, you know real hip hop and you know fake hip hop. Not, 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 not to knock anybody, but in your opinion, and not to even preface it with, the, with saying fake hip hop, I should take that back. A lot is going on with the number one album in America right now. How did Kanye West grab the number one spot? Do you think it is because he used religion or because he got bars? I mean, yeah, I mean, he definitely got bars. I ain't gonna shit on him like that, right. you know what I'm saying? It's just artistry, it did turn into more business mm. than it was. You know what I'm saying? For the young artists that's doing their thing, they learned how to make more money out of it. Mm. So I say do it, you know what I mean? But at the same time, don't taunt the hip hop legacy from the wave to the road that we paved and just act like we don't exist because we still out here cracking. And we still got a community of people that get down with it. So I ain't tripping. I'm like, have fun. As long as my bills get paid, have fun. Hey, that's what it really you know is. You know what I mean? Yep. Hey, we just appreciate you even stopping man, by and checking love. in with our outlet. Respect it's always love. love, man. Yes, sir. Bobby D present. Chill, Compass Most Wanted. Be looking out for that new forehead album I'm finna drop solo. And the Compass Most Wanted new album out. Gangsta Business. It's out right motherfucking now. Go get that. It's everywhere, everywhere. Go get it. Make sure y'all go get it. All that right now. And what's your Instagram? Man, make sure y'all get at me. The Chill CMW. T-H-A-C-H-I-L-L-C-M-W. Make sure y'all get at me. I spit back. Holla.